one of the most famous artists in the 20th century, the mother of American modernism. That's where we're going with this one. Thanks for joining me for voting video number 333 in the Incredible Mandela Effect voting video series here on the Money Bank 73 channel. I can't believe there's just so many changes, there's so many effects. I have to pick which ones I want to do, which ones I feel most passionate about. This is just an incredible phenomenon that a lot of us are experiencing in a huge way and I laugh in the face of people who say that there's nothing happening, there's nothing changing. Uh, I believe at some point we're going to find out what's going on, but anyway, until we get there, let's go ahead and check out this newest change here. Georgia O'Keeffe, I'm sure many of you who have been into art, studied art, are aware of Georgia O'Keeffe. She's a very famous artist. Um, O-K-E-E-F-E -E -E is how I remember it. Now, I can't say 100%, so I'm hoping that some of you know how her name was spelled. Now, the other spelling looks, looks foreign to me, like so many of the other things that have changed. So, uh, we're going to look at... There's thousands of newspapers. Now, I had this all set up, and I lost it all, so a little bit of frustration going on. I'm using this laptop on the road, so... <sighs> okay, <laughs> but we're getting through this one. So, there's just tons of newspapers where it's O-K-E-E-F-E. -E -E. I mean, we can just go... You know, I try, try and slowly go through here, you know shows on television where that was a spelling it's just that was always the spelling it's okay e e f e and let me pick one of these out here i like the older ones we'll go for this 19 you know 1934 newspaper she was okay double e f e um let's see one where it's in the in the title. Here's Georgia O'Keeffe here. This 1979 newspaper. There's just so many examples. There's there's so many people that remember it. Of course, Twitter and Facebook. There's so many people. This is interesting here in New Jersey. You know, they cared enough to name the street after Georgia O'Keeffe, but they couldn't spell the name right. So here they have O apostrophe K E E F E. However, we're being told that it's always been okay double e double f e so if that looks odd to you please thumb down the video if it's always been okay double e f e then please thumb up the video so you know just another change someone who's huge into art i'm sure this will hit them in a hard way it, you know it, it's going to be mind-blowing to them if they're very familiar with this famous artist but uh yeah apparently always been double e double f there's even a book that somehow made it through as, as a single F here, which that's never been the spelling of her name. So Camellia Starfire cared enough to make a coloring book <laughs> with George O'Keefe on the cover and didn't know how to spell her name. I mean, it's just incredible just you know, what we find with the Mandela Effect. So that's about it. It, it was a real long video. But this is going to be a short video because I lost all the research. But, you know, just with the street name and... Uh, now we have the battery going to die here uh, with the street name, with the book. Uh, there's there's just so much information we can find where it's uh, double E, F, E. And that's what I think a lot of you are going to remember it being spelled as. So anyway, um, in closing, I'd like to say that you know this is just a daily thing that I deal with. I know a lot of you deal with. Uh, I see Lucky every day the grocery stores I'm out driving around the Bay Area here in the Northern California it was always Lucky's for me it was apostrophe S I remember when someone was saying that it was a Mandela effect and I was arguing with them a few years ago said no I remember when it changed like 10 years ago it, the store went away and then it was it came back I started seeing them again but I said oh wow look Lucky's is back but they took off the apostrophe S and that was like nine years ago for me I noticed that and so then, you know, a few years ago, I go and look, and I was mind blown to see that it, it was lucky back in the 50s. It's, there was never apostrophe S. It was a total mind blow. And then this Starbucks coffee thing, with the, the word coffee just popped up out of nowhere all of a sudden. It's, it's just so frustrating, and, you know, it's so ridiculous people saying, oh, no, you're just not remembering correctly. Never had any memory problems like I do now. And <laughs> it's funny that I'm having all these memory problems, and, and they're the same memory problems that a lot of you are having. It's just... 
it's just ridiculous. These people are saying there's nothing happening. That, that's fine. They can continue on with that, but I definitely something happening. And um, there's a reason why we are seeing these changes and they're not. And maybe they should be the ones that's worried that they can't see them, but we're seeing them. We're being shown how reality is more fluid than we always thought. And it's just an incredible time to be alive and be experiencing life on planet earth here. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Go create the reality that you want. I really do believe our thoughts and beliefs are creating the reality we're experiencing. And I would like to bring you a lot more videos. I'm sorry I haven't been bringing them, but uh, there's just so many changes. I just have to pick now. It, it's just so, it's still so my, uh, three and a half years in, and it's just so mind blowing, everyone. Um, I hope you're all dealing with this after this much time has gone by it's probably a lot easier now than it was before but I feel sorry for those of you who can't talk to family and I was last night talking to my mom we were talking about the the one glove for the OJ Simpson trial I asked my stepfather I said uh, how many gloves we did you try on in the trial he said, one it was a real quick one real quick answer uh, my mom says, I don't remember him trying on one bloody glove, the bloody glove, the famous bloody glove. Well, now he holds up two hands. He tries on two two bloody gloves, one found at the house, one found at the crime scene. So it's just, you know, things like that. I was going to do something on that, but there's just so there's so much uh, that, that you can do now with this. Um, I don't know. It's just it's such an incredible thing. And I'm, I'm proud to be able to have been such a large part of it with bringing you 333 voting videos. Uh, I go back and look at some of the older videos it's just some of them are into the thousands of thumbs ups of people that have our memory and i've spent thousands of hours finding reality res the reality residue slaps the people in the face and say you know you're just misremembering and having confabulation on this confab yeah creating a memory that uh, other tens of thousands are also creating the same wrong memory and parodies and oh, it's just ridiculous it's just so frustrating sometimes i know a lot of you know exactly what i'm talking about so that's about it for now, everyone. Uh, go create the reality that you want, and I will talk to everyone soon.